So just walking around the boat park and it's amazing who you bump into. It's just a who's who of sailing. And JB, great to see you in a different Hello. context. Hello. And you're here at the Moffs. Tell us why you're here and, and what's going on. Yeah, the, the story starts uh, four years ago. I tried and I prepared the world in Garda and yeah, um, since that I changed twice the boat because the boat is really important in this class and uh, now I think I have uh, the machine for this world. I didn't sail as much as I want to but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy to be here again. Oh, we're so happy to have you here. I've got to say, nobody's ever going to tell me they've sailed as much as they want to because especially in a developing class, you always want to do more. But how does this compare to the Orca? Because, you know, home country, uh, it's not much more than a year to go to the Olympic Games. A lot of stuff on your plate. No, no, I'm, I'm from the south of France, so I know the place in Marseille. So it's not the biggest deal, but no, it's also really important to it to have some freshness in your mind, to be ready to, to push a little bit more. And on this class, you hike also like in laser, so you don't lose your time. And it's always fun to be, to be quick and to have uh, that much good sailor around. It's also really nice. I mean, no doubt the racing is absolutely fantastic. It's, it's scarily close. And we have an English expression that um, a change is, is as good as a break. But uh, does it not make the Ilka seem so slow when you get back in? No, I mean, yes, it is slow, no no doubt with this. It's really slow, but the game is what I love in laser because everyone is really close to each other. There's a lot of strategy, tactics, and here you do quite the same, but with the fast boat. Absolutely. And what do you think of the venue? I was just chatting to some of the Brits and they're like, we've done five years here trading in a southwesterly and it's now southeasterly. Yeah, true. I think uh, to prepare the game for 2012, so it's now pretty far from now but uh, I think we sell only one regatta in this condition it was the fir very first year probably 2009 and uh, so it's not uh, often I want to say <laughs> but let's say we have few data that maybe helps but yeah it's but it's nice it's sunny it's light it's different. It's yeah. like, like Marseille. Yeah, I was about to say June 2012 was the wettest June we had in the UK since they started measurements. And a lot of people held that against me. But don't tell me how long ago it was because it doesn't, doesn't that seem that, that far to me. But I have to ask you, what, what's next after the, the moths? Because I say it's a pretty exciting year. I jumped straight on my laser the day after because there's the coach regatta in Marseille to prepare the test event as uh, it's the, one of the main goals of the year. So test event and the world just straight after. Awesome. So you're going to be very keen to take your, take your cover off. I believe you want to go and get some lunch. So I'm never, never going to keep a man away from his food. But thank you so much for your time. Thank you, John. Thanks.